So here we are with my latest find. It's a 1940s Slingland Radio King set. I wanted one of these for quite a while, but uh, the right deal just never popped up. So I was looking around online last week and these were there. So this wasn't a couple hundred dollar find. Um, and when I tell you the whole story, you'll understand why. This was actually a one owner set owned by Mr. Vinny Marchese. They spent their whole lives in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, in and around there in the smoke-filled clubs in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, I actually acquired them from his son. So this is a one-owner set. It's been in the same family for almost 80 years. And I actually have a picture of Vinny playing the set when it was brand new. He, his son Jim thought it was around 1945 when his father bought it for him. I'll pop in that picture. So this is just an amazing find, for me anyways. I, I love this stuff and I love the stories almost as much. So I emailed the guy probably early last week, never heard back from him. Uh, Saturday morning I get a phone call, are you still interested in the set? So I'll pop in a picture of the ad. He was asking $1,000 in the ad. When I spoke to him on the phone, he said um, a few people had told him, you know, they should be more, more like 1500 which is still, Pretty reasonable for everything it came with, but um, it needs some love, it needs some work. Um, so when I was talking to him on the phone, I was like, is that negotiable? And he goes, oh yeah, I, I told him I'd probably be closer to the, his original asking price and he was fine with that. So I went up there and looked at the set and then come to find his out about his story. Uh, the guy's battling cancer, he's doing good now, the treatment's working. But um, he asked for $1,200 and I handed it to him. I wasn't negotiating with somebody that's fighting cancer. Uh, that's just not me. So he wasn't necessarily selling these for the money. I mean, his wife just decided they needed to go to a new home after all these years. Um, really nice couple. Uh, his treatment's working for the cancer. He told me his insurance is covering all of it. Um, so it wasn't really the money. He really expressed to me that he wanted them to go to a good home. And when I explained to him what I do and that I was planning on keeping him, he, it really seemed to put him at peace. And uh, he seemed really happy that I was the one that got him. So um, I really appreciate it. And I, I love these stories. I, I love the history of this drum set. Um, he, he, you could see him talking about his father with all this pride, showing me the picture of his father behind the set and telling me some stories of his father playing these around the club. And that's actually how his father met his mother and they had a really cool picture of the, them together singing at an old microphone. Um, just a really awesome story. So I'll get you guys up closer to take a look at uh, some of the issues with it. It, uh, it definitely needs some love, there's some rust. Really cool that it's got the original calfskin heads at least on the toms and the bass drum. The bass drum's filled with something. I don't know exactly what, it's some kind of fiber stuff. I haven't taken the heads off yet. But he assured, he assured me that these have never seen any water. Um, I didn't take the heads off in front of him. I trusted him. He was a really nice guy. And um, it was just a great experience all around. So I'll get you guys up a little closer to it and um, show you a few of the little issues with it and uh, go over some of the details. So it's obviously pretty yellowed. That's one of the issues. Um, but it came with some cool accessories. It came with uh, the case. For the floor tom which is probably why the floor tom is lighter than all the other drums that was the only one that had a case besides the snare it did come with a trap case um, with some goodies in it and in the trap case there was the um, broken ring that goes around the canister throne and there's some accessories like the the bass drum muffler um, came with a couple pedals and uh, Ralph Kesta ching ring, which was a pleasant surprise. I, I was excited about that, even though I already have one. A um, couple cymbal toppers. So the stands, the cymbal arm. The floor tom's in really nice shape. Um, so the, the snare's really yellowed. And you can see it's got a new head on it, but all the other drums have the original Radio King calfskins. So the canister throne's in pretty rough shape. 
at least the top is. And I have the pieces to that, that broken ring that go around the bottom. Really cool that it's still with the set after all these years though. So somebody didn't do a very good job of putting those wires on the, on the snare, but uh, we'll take care of that. So yeah, the original calfskin Radio King heads. Slingland bass drum pedal. Just look at that beater. Vinny obviously loved to play. The head is actually in good condition. Um, once I removed that tape and, and the felt or whatever, yeah, it's taped on there. But um, that actually saved the head. You can just see all that nicotine. Really cool though. So there's some rust. Original Tom holder. That's just what's so cool about this set is it, it's mostly original. So the wrap, like I said, is yellowed. And it's got some little cracks in it here and there. But overall, the wrap is all tight. It's all there. Really not bad. Vinny's logo, front head. Like you can see the nicotine or whatever, just, just uh, covered. So yeah, the original uh, spurs, hoop clamp spurs, all that stuff. Such a cool set. So these are uh, 12 and 3 quarter Zildjian hats really light. I've actually had a set of these before. I believe they're 50s. Uh, 16 inch crash. It's got holes for rivets on the bolt sides of it. Um, again, guessing that's 50s. Really light, really thin. And another 18 inch. This would be crash ride maybe, but it's really thin. I would probably say it's a crash um, I don't think I'll be able to pick up the stamps maybe but such a cool piece of history I love it I'll uh I'll pop in a little clip of me banging on it uh, I'll tell you right now, it doesn't sound very good. Whatever he's got filled in that bass drum um, makes it completely dead. And the heads, I haven't tuned anything. Uh, so it doesn't sound very good right now. But uh, we'll fix that. As always, thanks to my uh, subscribers, my viewers, new and old. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps the channel. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks.